In the upper left hand corner of the main window is the Scan 3F feature. 3F stands for Flexible File Format. This is an enhanced version of the standard TIFF file format. 3F creates a raw 16-bit file, meaning no tonal adjustments have been applied to the image. Each 3F file contains a high-quality preview, full history of applied settings, and the ability to store metadata information. 3F creates a digital original which can be repurposed for different usages from a single file. Throughout this lesson, I will point out the many benefits of the 3F file format. Prior to scanning in 3F for the first time, I recommend setting your 3F preferences. This can be found by selecting from the menu at the top under Flex Color and Preferences. Select the 3F tab and you will notice some settings we can adjust. You can select if 3F files should be scanned at certain percentages of the possible file size of the original or select the maximum 16-bit file size created from any size original. Select an appropriate file size based on your workflow and future usage of the files. In most cases, a 200 megabyte 16-bit file is sufficient. Next we have a byline and copyright field. These can be filled in with your name and copyright information. This information stored as metadata is contained in your 3F file and can be accessed downstream by other applications such as Photoshop and image management databases that conform to the ITPC standard. This 3F feature is very important for several reasons. Any image you create is an important asset which should have your name and copyright associated with the file. Remember with 3F we are creating a digital original. You would never dream of sending a film original to a client without your name on it. The same care should be applied to a digital file. 3F automates this task. Each file you create in 3F will have your information automatically embedded in the file. You will never have to worry about your digital original leaving the studio without your information. Now that we have set up our 3F preferences, we can begin scanning. Simply select the Scan 3F button and Flex Color will begin scanning in the 3F file format. A preview scan is not required. If your scanner supports auto frame recognition, selecting the proper frame size is not mandatory. With auto frame recognition, Flex Color will detect which size holder you have loaded and scan a full frame image. You can apply a setup if you wish to your 3F file. However, it's not necessary. You may, for example, apply a setup to your color negatives, which will convert your negative to a positive, giving you a color preview. This is done by first previewing the image, applying a setup, then scan 3F. Once you have captured your image, simply treat the 3F file as you would a normally scanned image. Select Save once you have completed making your total adjustments to the settings, and a standard TIFF file is created. To access your images once they've been captured in the 3F file format, select the thumbnail icon. Your images are stored by default in a folder called Scratchpad. Those of you with our digital back will already be familiar with this feature. Displayed is your collection of 3F files. Each 3F file is automatically assigned a name and a sequential number. The default prefix name is Picture. This can be customized to your own naming convention. Let's look at some of the other features of 3F. Highlighted thumbnail and select Get Info. From here we can view the 3F preferences we set earlier, the byline and copyright tags. In addition, we can see when the file was created, the file size, the size of the original, when it was last modified, and the scan resolution. We can also add keywords that can be used by image management applications to quickly search and find the image you need. To insert keywords, select Add and type in your information. A caption field is also available. Selecting the general information pull-down gives you access to the history of this image. Each state or version of your image is recorded, listed here and can be retrieved for reuse or rework. 3F stores not only your original 16-bit image, captured in a totally raw state, 
3F will record all the different iterations of your image you may have created. All the tonal corrections and changes you make to the file are stored in the original 3F file. This enables you to produce many different output optimized images from a single file. For example, you can create from one file an image optimized for an inkjet printer, a CMYK press, and the web. All this from your original RAW 16-bit scan or capture. You need only store the original 3F file because all the information necessary to create subsequent versions are contained in a very small settings file within the 3F file. If you need a version of this image you created months ago, you can create an exact duplicate of that image from the original RAW 3F file. This can dramatically reduce your storage requirements. Each 3F file also contains a high quality preview file. This preview file can be used by image database programs to give you a quick preview of the image instead of loading what could be a very large file. Let's create a file optimized to a particular output device from a 3F file. Begin by selecting an image. This is done by double clicking the image or single click the image and select show to bring the image forward in the main window. From the setup window, I will select a previously saved setup optimized for this image and for the output device, in this case, an inkjet printer. My output dimensions and resolution are set along with tonal corrections contained within this setup. To create the file, select Save and enter a file name. Since I always have my thumbnail, which shows me what the file looks like, I have some flexibility when entering a file name. In this case, I will use Inkjet Printer. Notice once the file has been saved, the setup has been changed to the file name. Now let's open the thumbnails and look at the information recorded. My file is already highlighted, so I will select Get Info. Here you can see the file we created, along with the date and time. This file was saved as an RGB file. The check mark denotes the preferred default version of the file. The I symbol indicates which version is currently being viewed. To change the default version, highlight a new file and select Make Default. Notice how the preview image changed to reflect the black and white version of the image. Along the bottom are some additional options. Show will use the highlighted version and open in the main window. Delete allows you to remove a history setting. Add Current will take your current settings from the main window and apply to the current highlighted history setting. Let's take a look at some of the other 3F features found in the thumbnail window. We have already explored the Get Info window. Delete allows you to delete any 3F files highlighted in the thumbnail window. Show displays your image in the main window. Selecting Save brings up the Batch Save window. 3F files have several save options. You have the ability to select multiple images and batch save them. You can save images as normal files, previews, or as layers. Save Normal, as the name implies, saves your files as standard TIFF files. Preview saves a 1.3 megabyte TIFF file. This is a convenient method to create files that can be emailed to clients for review or for web pages. This option saves you from opening each individual file, which could be hundreds of megabytes, and resizing and saving them to a 1.3 megabyte file. The last method, Save as Layers, will create a separate layer in Photoshop containing the dust and scratch information identified by FlexTouch. This will allow you to selectively remove dust and scratch information in Photoshop. When using our digital back, this will create separate layers from multiple shots. This could be used to brush the lighting from each layer into the ideal lighting for that image. Save individual settings and croppings will save the default version of your 3F image with the settings of the default version into a TIFF file. If you have created multiple versions of your original 3F file, remember the version with the check mark next to it is the default version. Select the Make Default button to set a different default image. Save Current will save a version of your 3F file based on your current settings from the main window into a TIFF file. Selecting Modify brings up the Modify Selected Images window. This gives you several methods to modify not only one image, 
but multiple images allowing you to perform batch modifications. With Add Setting, you apply the current setting to images you have selected from the thumbnail folder. You can also type in a file setting to be applied. In addition, you can specify if this should be the default setting for those images. This is a time-saving feature if you have numerous images you wish to modify with the same setting. For example, you could take all your selected images and convert them from RGB to CMYK. Rename gives you the option to rename and renumber single or multiple files selected from the thumbnail window. Neutralize is designed for images captured with our digital back. You can apply the neutralization of the currently loaded image to the selected 3F captures. This is an excellent tool for digital captures. Unprocess Capture is a digital back function which removes processed data from your capture, thereby reducing the file size. Approve is primarily a digital back function allowing you to only process files which have been approved. Approved files are indicated by a check mark in the thumbnail. Folder gives you access to the other folders on your computer where you may be storing 3F files. If you are using OS X and have forgotten where your current thumbnail folder is located, simply hold down the command key while you select the folder icon in the title bar. This will display the full path of your thumbnail folder. Search is a handy tool for locating images. Simply type in a word, followed by return or enter. All the images with this keyword or file name will be displayed. Process is a digital back function facilitating which files will be processed. Name for new image allows you to change the prefix given to each 3F file. The images in your thumbnail folder can be sorted by name or date in ascending or descending order. They can be further sorted by approval. Size is used to change the size of the thumbnails. The amount of images in your thumbnail folder is shown along with the remaining space available on your hard drive. This icon will toggle the crop mask feature. This tool will mask off the area outside your current crop. You can also open many of these features by holding down the control key as you highlight the image on Mac or right click on Windows. Here are a few tips for selecting multiple files from your thumbnail window. Hold down the command key on Mac, control key on Windows to select non-consecutive images. Shift click to select consecutive images. Press command A on Mac or control A in Windows to select all images or select all from the edit menu. With the images highlighted, the thumbnails can be printed. This can be done by holding down the control key and clicking in the thumbnail window and selecting the print command. In Windows, this is done by right-clicking your mouse button. With this version of FlexColor, the application can be used without being attached to the scanner or digital back. This allows for distributed image editing. Images can be captured on one workstation and edited on other workstations using FlexColor. Since 3F files are TIFF files, it is possible to open them directly in Photoshop. However, if you do edit the file and save it, Photoshop will strip off the metadata information plus the low-res preview. The file will no longer be a valid 3F file. Therefore, to support editing of the 3F files in Photoshop, we have developed an Imicon 3F file format plugin. When installing FlexColor, this will be placed in a folder called Plugins in the same folder as a FlexColor application. Whenever FlexColor is launched, it will make sure that the plugin is installed in all known Adobe Photoshop plugin folders. When opening a 3F file in Photoshop, after the 3F plugin has been installed, you'll see that the default file format is now Imicon 3F. You will have the possibility of editing and saving the file in this format without losing any of the information specific to the 3F file format. With the initial version of the plugin, the image dimensions must remain unchanged.